Hey, hey. Let's go, come on. Woo. Let's kick the sand. Oh, how good is that? Hey, you happy to be on the beach again? Hey, you happy to be on the beach again? Yeah. It's been a long, long time coming. The sun has literally not been out for four months. We've been stuck inside, raining. It's been hard to make videos. I've literally not made a video for two weeks and it's been... Ah, look. Whoa. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Anyway, we have not been fishing for like two weeks. The weather has been absolutely horrible. Tonight's a different story. The sun is out. The legs are out. Tonight is the night where hopefully we can get back out. The wind has literally dropped all the way off. So tonight we're going to do a bit something different. Me and Dom are going to wait for the tide to come up. High tides around 11.30, 11.45. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Hey? Ah. Hey, say hello to the camera. This is Jack. Hey, you're getting a bit old now. Hey, you don't really like the camera, do you? You dirty old beagle. Get it. Go. Look at your big old fart. Cut forward three hours. Me and Dom are going to come down to this little beach. This is a beach near my house, maybe a stone's throw away. I could cycle here in two minutes. I never fish here. I never have. To be honest, I probably never would have. I changed my mind. So, as you can see, block the sun out. <laughs> You've got a lovely bay up here. The tide flows in from, see where that little tree is? Ow, boof. Where that tree is, the tide will flow in into this clear kind of area over here. It's quite sandy. But as you can see in here, very broken ground, very rocky. All of this gets covered. If you're a fisherman, any kind of structure holds fish. Let's clean that camera. Any kind of structure holds fish. Structure. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to get the waders on and work all of this area. Hopefully we can get a fish. In about three hours, this will be totally different, this landscape. All the way, as far as the eyes can see, it's pretty lunar. It's like being on the moon, something like out of a space movie in Mars. Probably start on the outer bank and then give it a fish all the way through from there as the tide flows in. It's going to be nighttime, so I thought I'd come down here, give you a shot of what we're kind of fishing over. And a couple of little tips on what happens when we come to a new spot, usually come down at low tide, what we do how we kind of work it out just leaving little clues to where the rocks could be um, for when you get down here because when it's dark and you don't want to be using your head torch for the bass you won't be able to see any of this stuff so let's go where is it where is it where is it where is it oh high five yeah boy there you go oh. sit high five good boy Oh, he's missed it. First little area that we're probably gonna, well, it's probably the last area we're gonna target. You can see this rocky outcrop. In between this rock and that rock, there's a sandy gutter. Try and get a bit higher. There you go. So as you can see, this sandy outcrop that comes through here, you've got a rocky face there, and then you've got a rocky face here. So this is a kind of an area where bait fish, crustaceans, anything will kind of hide nice and close to the reef place where they can get food as well so when you picture that tide coming in from over here and it runs through it fills in and fills in here so these are the kind of areas that you want to kind of look for on a beach that hold potential food where we were just before over that side where that head is just there the tide's going to flow into there more than likely what's going to happen in here is the tide's going to flow into there and fill up into this pool and then come into here this will be the blast zone Probably won't be as many fish up here because there won't be much surf tonight, but in and around these kind of areas, especially at darkness, there's going to be loads of bass. And... Do you reckon we'll get a bass tonight? Yeah? Yeah, man. Shut up. Mate, there's a big crab. Where's all the crabs, Jack? Where are all the crabs? So we'll be fishing over all of this stuff later. All of these rock pools, there'll be little crabs and crustaceans always make sure that you put everything back 
Look, oh, look, perfect. There you go. Little crabby. I think that's actually... There's a blenny there, look at this. These are the kind of things that the bass will be feeding on. Little blennies. Let's not hold it out for too long. Blenny, kind of rock shanny kind of fish. Look at that. Maybe green might be a colour tonight. Beautiful little kind of species. Jack, what's this? Look at this. Look at this. No, leave it. You can't eat it. Look. Be nice. Be nice. Hey? You can't see it. He's blind as a bat. Hey, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Hey? Always make sure you put the rocks back to where they were as well. Let's see what else we can find, Jack. You promise you're gonna be careful. You're gonna be careful. Should we go to the top? Should we go to the top? Yeah, come on. You okay? You all right? Yeah? Look how beautiful this is. So as you can see, the gullies that we're gonna to fish tonight, one, two, three, beautiful. Sandy area, loads of rocks. Jack, oi. Hey, get down. Loads of kind of rocks, loads of different places, especially on this side as well. Areas where the bass can come through. All of this is gonna fill up. Choice of lure, anything. Fresh air. You cannot beat fresh air. Right, let's be careful, come on, let's go. Be careful. Good boy. Sit. Here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah! It's lovely. What an evening. Jack. What an evening. Whew. Nice just to let it all out. It's nice just to be the only one on the beach. I love it. Over and out. <laughs> You're off your head, mate. What you got? What you got? Hey, what you got? Hey, come on. Where is it? Another thing that kind of amazes me at the moment is the amount of cuttlefish that are kind of washing up these. Oi, you get off my bloody cuttlefish. Do you want it? Well, I was going to show you the size comparison. Look how small these are. These things must be tiny. And these just all getting washed up. Perfect for a budgie. Madness. That thing must have been huge. Big fat Congo has probably taken that. What a night. It's magical. This is what the bass will be kind of, this is what they'll be kind of coming in, feeding on this time of the year, all the crustaceans, hardbacks, greenbacks. Shells are still quite hard. Are these I, the ones that peel? Um, yeah, they will peel eventually. Oh, babies. Very proper dark. Mm. And then you turn it over and it's like a brown. Let's do this, mate. See if we can bang one. You... <laughs> You're in. You're in. Boom, mate. On to the first. I can't even see you. There you go. First bass of the night, mate. It's only little. Oh, it's all right, mate. It's still a fish. Here she comes. Is it a bass or a pollock? No. Oh, it's a bass. It's a little bass. I can't even see your face, mate. Oh, oh there you are. Lovely. Hey. Boy, boy. That's what we came here for. Sounds. Yeah, blank table. Two quid special. Mm. 
Deal of the month, deal of the day. Uh, go on, little fella. In they go. Get in there, buddy. First fish.